durante años. Nuestro mundo ha vivido en paz. Pero algo se avecina. I think they can expect a, a fantasy um, spectacle um, with way more heart, with more interest in the characters and story and, and, uh, and, and family than maybe they would be expecting from a movie like this. It's, it's a big one. Uh, you know, I was, a, I was a big fan of, of the career trajectory of Chris Nolan, who did Memento and then went on to Insomnia with Al Pacino and then did Batman. And it was like, boom, boom, boom. Um, so I knew that I, you know, after I did Moon, I was getting offers to do bigger films and I knew that I wasn't ready to jump into something of this size. That's why I absolutely, you know, wanted to do you know, following a little bit, um, you know, like Chris Nolan, doing kind of that middle step. So I, I did Source Code. Uh, and after having had the experience on those two films, I felt a little bit more confident and ready to, to take a challenge like this. It's a big step up, but um, I'm glad I did it that way instead of jumping from one straight to the other. I'm not allowed to take sides. <laughs> Nuestro mundo se muere. No tenemos donde regresar. Si queremos que nuestro pueblo sobreviva, debemos formar un hogar aquí. So Khadgar is a mage in the world of Azeroth, and when we first find him in the film, he's kind of a little bit disgraced, kind of a little bit on the outskirts, not really sure what he's doing with himself, and then through no real choice of his own, he gets drawn into this conflict that is far bigger than anything he could ever have imagined, and through the course of that, really finds his calling and grows in, starts to grow into a young man. Orgrim Doomhammer is uh, chief warrior of the Frostwolf clan, um, second in command, uh, loyal best friend and captain to Duratan, uh, and a fierce and loyal warrior of the Orcs. I, I'm against it uh, because I don't believe it's any different than acting. Uh, I mm -hmm. think that, you know, I think that Andy Serkis should have been nominated for what he did with Caesar. Uh, I think separating it from uh, straight acting uh, is, is dangerous to putting it into the same category as an animated movie. And it's not. Uh, the performances that, you know, what Toby Kebbell does in this movie is amazing yeah. and should be held in the same esteem as and what, what Ben you Foster do does. Movie. I'll stop it. <laughs> um, so I, I'm, I'm against having a separate category for it. I am for having it being taken as seriously as the regular category. Si no nos unimos, nuestro mundo perecerá. Esto no tiene por qué suceder. Hay alguien que podría ayudarnos. Para los orcos no hay más vida que la guerra. I play uh, Lotha. He's the commander of the human army. I play Garona. She is half orc, half human. I play Duratan. He's uh, chieftain of the Frostwolf clan. Nobody cares, man. Sorry. I don't know. I, I don't think about it in that way. I, I, but. I was excited to play Garona. I, 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 I like the idea of who she is. I think that's, you know, something I can connect to, the idea of being a survivor, the idea that, you know, you might be dealt one hand in life, but through sheer will and um, strength of mind, heart, spirit, you can change uh, your, um, your future. And, she, and, and suddenly she finds herself in this new world, and, and she's this very adaptable, um, interesting person in that, she, and she's a warrior, but she's also vulnerable, and um, and vulnerable to love and uh, of, of a man and of friends, and you know, she was interesting to play. I was, I was. Yeah, I mean, it's one and the same. You just won't see my face. It, it's a, it's a, it's a different craft. Is really anyone who's working in motion capture is trying to, to make it very clear that it's it's the same deal. It's just a different craft. So. It's very funny that whatever you do, we call it selling out if you do a poor performance of your character for the computer, because the computer can't tell. Oh, he meant to do that, so it adjusts for you. You know, like an edit could do for a, for a performance. You have to give it something true because you're not only doing it for the film, you're doing it for an artist who's gonna look at those dots moving for hours and hours and hours. So that's, that's the difference. Yeah, I do for sure. At the end of Vikings, I got very lazy though. I wanted to be the king and just sit on my horse and everybody else fights. But um, yeah, I would like to do... Yeah, I'd just like to be a no... <laughs> It'd have to have comedy in it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I would love to do uh, just something present day where I can wear jeans or shorts. Yeah. Be honest. I'm sick of wearing leathers and armor and... Because he does it in his private life so much. Yeah, you know he I mean? looks it's hard to go work. Chaps, and then, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> 
especially mm. the backless ones. Oh yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, to me, you don't focus on what isn't or what people expect of you. You just focus on what you can and want to be, and you cannot live your life with any concern of what anybody else thinks about you. You know, you have to have ultimate faith that what you're doing is is feels if it feels good, then it's right. If it moves you, then you must do it. Este es un suicidio. No tenemos alternativa. Atacaremos con todas nuestras fuerzas. Si piensas hacer algo, hazlo ya. Music inspires life.